Greetings and salutations. What's going on? We are back with Divine Feminine's Karmic Situation. So, what Divine Feminine Karmic Situations be all about here at LLE Ascension is just like the masculine. It's just taking a good view at the karma that you got going on in your life or the karmic shit you be on. Now, one problem that I suffer from a lot, you know, being a, you know, a man, a male psychic in this game, I'm divine feminine, so this shit goes for me too. But one thing I notice is I attract a lot of fake ass divines. They're not divines at all, they're karmic. It's shit. But want to stroll up on me or come up on my page or or, or or come up in my inbox and shit like they like like they really on their business and shit. It's a lot of women just infatuated with. Me. They like watching me talk. I mean, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you know, I'm nice handsome looking dude. You feel what I'm saying? I'm a man of God. You know what I mean? I'm out here doing good shit. You feel me? I am a leader. I you know, I, I am spectacular. You know what I'm saying? I'm a Leo. I'm not just stroking my ego here. I'm just spitting a little facts. Like, a lot of chicks just watch me. They just want to hear my voice. I mean, y'all got to get off that shit. Like, if I'm distracting you with my sexiness, then maybe you need to watch one of these faceless, faceless psychics or some shit like that. I don't really condone faceless psychics, but I mean, it ain't my fucking job or business or rubric to, to critique motherfuckers on, but yeah, you know what I mean, if you just come on on my channel just to hear me talk, just to see me do great things and shit, then that's, that's very karmic, you know what I mean, let me get so infatuated with me, this is a good problem, I swear to God, it's something that I wish, it's something that I wished when I was rapping, I wanted this influence on women and shit, like, I wanted this influence with women, you know what I mean, like, and I had it when I was rapping, but like I say, at this point, it's just kind of getting old. Like, I'm 34 years old now. I started rapping when I was 15, so having women infatuated with me, like, I remember when I was 15, 16. I'm going to get this spread out. I remember when I was 15, 16 rapping, and I was doing sold-out shows and shit. Two of them like Wu-Tang, Curtis Blow, They My Soul and shit. I remember my first sold-out show. It wasn't my show. I was opening up for uh, Curtis Blow and DJ Easy Rock. And, uh, these chicks grabbing at my feet and shit while I was on stage. I go backstage, they waiting, you know what I mean? All on a little nigga, this nigga, you feel me? Like, that shit was cute then. <laughs> I wasn't on God's purpose at all. In fact, I was in the world like a motherfucker. But by me being a divine now, on path, on purpose, doing God's work, or at least trying to help you do that, it's hard when you looking at me like, you know, I see the fuck faces. I see, I'm a fucking psychic. Of course I can read what the fuck y'all on. I'm only talking to the ones that's infatuated with me. Like, stop that shit. Focus. I'm gonna need y'all to focus. We doing coaching and shit. I'm gonna need you to focus. You understand me? Like, focus here. Like, nigga, <laughs> think of me like pastor. Boom. Think of me as like bishop. GD Boom up in this motherfucker. GD Jakes in this motherfucker. <laughs> All day. Hey, think of me as Bishop GD Jakes, nigga. Like, it's a professionalism that I keep with y'all. A lot of y'all be wanting smash, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, like I say, it's professionalism over anything. Anybody that's met me in fucking person, most of y'all, <laughs> hey, like, you see how professional I keep it? You know what I mean? Y'all be throwing them little in the windows at a nigga, and I just... I look at that shit like I, I, I think I be dodging shit like Neo and the motherfucking Matrix. Like I, I appreciate it, but that, that, that yeah. come on, man, y'all gotta be professional too. You understand what I'm saying? Like it's a lot of shit. Y'all so called the rise beyond with me, man. And like I say, just stop that shit. I mean, ain't like I don't appreciate it. I'm a fucking Leo. Like I love that shit, but at the same time, I'm here to help you find your path, find your purpose. Get closer to God. Get closer to your twin flame. I'm not your twin because I got one. I'm sure you got one too. So it ain't that type of demo. Oh, you're my twin flame. I had a dream. You're my twin flame. Like, stop telling me that shit. Like, I know that ain't true. You know what I mean? It's been chicks, I'm telling you, like, randomly bumping into me in public on some accident shit. Like, it's... Look, 
You acting like this with me? You know what I mean? And I'm D-So Soup. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's other psychics out here that's just shitting on me. They like Adonis compared to my motherfucking big ass. You know what I'm saying? It just it just shows me a few things. It shows me a few things. Shit that y'all get on. Like, stop acting karmic Especially around me. Because I'm going to fucking tell you. It's going to hurt your fucking feelings. But I got to do it. Because how else I'm going to destroy this whole infatuation shit y'all got with a nigga? Hey, fuck with me the way you fuck with your pastor. The way you fuck with your bishop. The way you fuck with your boss. Hopefully, I ain't fucking y'all bosses and shit like that. That says a lot. But at any rate, look. Y'all the wine feminines. I'm going to hold y'all to the vine accountability. Ain't no worldly shit going on in my channel. Okay, you can fuck with all these little other karmics who on that shit. They'll gladly fuck the shit out of you. I'll be wanting to, but I'm not I'm trying to keep this shit professional. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, come at me correct. I I ain't got time to feed into your little game. I ain't finna enable that shit even. So let's just get real. When you book coaching with me, get real. Get serious. Cause I'm a I call y'all out anyway. And it's like I be saying that shit and y'all still be on that shit. Like, hey, chill out. Relax. Chill out. Catch me on the social scene with that shit. But when we handling divine business, let me do what I'm, I'm put here to do. You know what I'm saying? I'll be trying, boy. But, hey, first card of this message, we got the three of wands. This is the divine feminine's role. And what's that? That's path. That's purpose. That's evolution. All divine feminines have to evolve. Like a fucking Pokemon. You understand what I'm saying? You can't be Pikachu forever. You gotta at least evolve into Pika Blue. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, you gotta go from Charizard to Charmeleon. And I mean, you gotta go from Squirtle to fucking Blastoise. Like, it's all about evolution. When you ain't evolving, it's karma to that. This is a karmic message, right? Look, it's karma to not being on your purpose. It's some shit you need to be on, feminine. It's people you need to be affecting right now. People you need to be helping right now. People you need to be guiding right now. People you need to be doing for. That's what wands are. Actions and behavior. Shit you doing. Shit you done. Not shit you finna do because that don't mean shit. Feminines, be on your job. You want to know the main reason why you need to find your path, find your purpose? You know the main reason why you need to evolve? So you can get to the next step in this fucking wands process, which is the four of wands. What's that? Union. Reunion. Recognition. Boom, how do I get into a flame union? Are you on your purpose and path yet? Why you keep saying that shit? Why you keep acting like you don't know what the fucking four wands is? It's a step process, okay? You can't be out here doing what the divine masculine does. My masculine's role is the two of wands. That was, actually, that's the bottom line. And it's being clarified by the ten of swords, which is something you need to put a fucking end to. Doing what your divine masculine does. We'll get to that in a second. Overall energy is fairly important. What's what's fairly important, y'all need to get on y'all motherfucking purpose. Period. Fuck all that other shit. Five of Pentacles. What's that? That's the dark night of the soul. It's a gift and a curse. Evolving. <laughs> it's a gift and curse of being in wine and shit. Okay? It's a very lonely life when you three or one. The higher you go up, the less people that's there. So if you a codependent ass person, I see why you ain't on path and purpose yet. Because you know how lonely that road is. But fuck it. <laughs> you are the chosen one. God has a path and purpose for you. Like I said, all great people, man, live in solitude. It's hard to find a like-minded individual in the world. Or a like-minded me. That's why I know for a fact. God sends the love of your life your way. God sends you your husband. God sends you your wife. I know God gonna send me my wife, cause like I said, me trying to find a like my individual on path and on purpose is getting hard as fuck. I'm running into just chicks that's just infatuated with the idea of me. Finding a chick that's really down for me like Brandy, man, that shit's rare. Given who I am, given my evolution. The higher you go up, I'm telling you, last motherfuckers is gonna be around. Let's just say you blow up, you become like a celebrity or some shit. It's going to be hard trying to find somebody that ain't just with you because of your status or with you just because of the shit you do. Slim pickings out here. So when you find the one, like your twin, <laughs> embrace them. Even if they ain't fucking with you physically, sexually, romantically. I don't mean shit. Love comes in all shapes, forms, and fashions. That's why I'm even a divine feminine. 
And that's why I found the love of my life. Who's my divine master? He ain't fucking. He ain't even that type of party. It's weird. But it ain't physical. I mean, we ain't knock boots and no shit like that. If we did, I'm pretty sure I'll let y'all know. I tell y'all niggas everything else. That'll really... <laughs> I really put an end up to a fan shit. Like, that'll be like an ultimate no-no. If if that ever happen, I'm going to have to tell y'all. Because like I say, I just, I'll tell y'all every fucking thing. But if it ever happened and I said it, I'm pretty sure my man has something. Be over with. <laughs> How the fuck would you even say some shit like that? Yeah, man, look, you don't understand, nigga. It's three of wands, nigga. It ain't about me. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Like, hey, like, that's the love of my life. I got soulmates that I fuck with. You know what I mean? It's, it's women that I, I love dearly. I cherish like a motherfucker. It's chicks that almost ended up being Miss Boom out here. I do have that still. Don't get it fucking twisted. You understand what I'm saying? But what my masculine taught me was how to love a person without being physically involved with them. How to love a person like without even sex being involved in shit. Like it's pure, unconditional love that I have for this guy. It's crazy it took a guy for me to get that, but, you know, I grew up without a father. My twin is my father. You know what I'm saying? I didn't get that love. My twin gives that shit to me. My twin flame doesn't have any children. I'm his son. So he never really got unconditional love from a son, from a child. That's his or some shit like that. I give him that. Twins don't fill voids. He don't complete me. I don't complete him. We were two separate fucking people before we even came together and had this motherfucking journey. But what I do know is, he is definitely my reflection. It's like your masculine is definitely yours. It's like I said in the last reading, feminine, you cannot not fuck with your masculine because it ain't sexual, because it ain't romantic, because you can't have it your way like Burger King. That's karmic as fuck. Why are we even having this conversation? Like, real shit. That's why this shit isn't even in the message. But, yeah, when you evolve, when you get on your business, when you line your life up with the main reason why you was here, when you find that reason and start wands, actions, getting on that shit, you're going to start losing a lot. You're going to lose a lot of so-called friends. Family going to stop fucking with you. Jobs going to stop fucking with you. You know how many jobs I lost doing this channel? Had nice-ass jobs, Joe, with benefits and shit. Niggas just catch my channel. See me on my channel. Fire. Yeah, I don't think we're I don't think you're a good fit for, for, for this job. It's like motherfucker, I was a good fit when you hired me. You know what I mean? But you see my you must see my channel. Yeah, we did. And uh we you know I've never seen this side of you. <laughs> I don't see this, so I just feel like you're a whole other person. It's like whatever, man. I get persecuted for the shit that I do. Good women in my life, man. Hey, I told them about my twin flame and, and try to, like, and they're karmic, obviously, because they, they don't get it. I let them know about my twin flame situation. These motherfuckers think I'm gay as hell. Like, they think I'm on some whole other shit. They act like my masculine in a way of what the fuck we got going on, which is weird because same shit happens to my masculine. Every time he let them know about me and shit, they act like they competing with me with him or some shit. Acting like I'm in the way of their relationship. Like, fuck no. Sometimes I gotta ask my master, like, what the fuck you be telling these bros, bro? Why they don't like me? Why don't they fuck with me? They know I'm like your son, right? Yeah, but the whole twin flame shit, man, just be tweaking them out, as it does with me. It's a gift and a curse. <laughs> Higher I go up, the less people that surround. I will say this shit. For the four going on five years, I've been on my path and purpose, man. All I got is myself. And my twin. Like, he's the only motherfucking familiar face around now. I mean, aside from my mom, my OG, that's like my world. I mean, she all I got. You know what I mean, I got a twin sister, but we distant. It's weird. I got a little brother. We distant. It's weird. You know what I'm saying? Only four motherfuckers in my family. My mom, my sister, my brother, myself. And it's really just like me and mom's. But me and mom are the only motherfuckers that really are God-minded. Like, we fuck with God the long way, sis, bro. Sis is very advanced. She's a psychic. She's a masculine. I'm the feminine. It's a boy, girl, uh, twin. And the female twin and fraternal twins, boy, girl, twins, are the alphas. That's a fact. So if you got fraternal twins, 
the female is she's the masculine. She's the alpha. She's the motherfucker you need to be worried about. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the boy, he's a rider. He's going to ride for you, mom. You know what I'm saying? As I do with my OG. You know what I'm saying? But my mom's a divine masculine. My little brothers are divine. My brothers are divine masculine. My mother's a divine masculine. My twin sisters are divine masculine. I'm the only feminine entity in my family. Weird dynamic. <laughs> but, you know, just say all that shit to say this. Hey, hurry up and find your path and purpose because I'm telling you, that's just the beginning. You ain't even really seen people real true faces, how they really feel about your ass. Succeed and see how motherfuckers really feel about that shit. Motherfuckers want you right under them. Motherfuckers love when you where they at. So when you get to surpassing people, they stop fucking with you. Shit you'll understand once you get on your path and purpose, feminine. Make sure you get on that. One thing you need to get off of, though, is this two of wands shit. Most of y'all divine feminines is on. Just two of winding out here. It's a difference between what the divine masculine does and what you do. Two of wands is just support. That's just making ends meet. Step your fucking game up, man. Like, okay, you got a job. Oh, that's too much for you. You ain't got time to, I don't know, insert another wand in your enterprise. And all you doing is inserting another wand, doing more work. You know what I mean? It's just going to get you ready for the next step, which is the four of wands. That's Twin Flame Union Reunion Recognition. You're going to have to work twice as hard to get to Union. Just getting by. Two of wands just surviving. Birds, bees, bacteria, boars. Bears do that shit. We're human fucking beings. The reason why your masculine can get away with this shit, because his job is just to support you doing this shit. You're Whitney Houston and the bodyguard. Your masculine is the bodyguard. He's Kevin Costner. You fucking Whitney Houston. He wouldn't even have a job if you wasn't on your shit. This motherfucker wouldn't even be in your life if it wasn't meant for you to elevate in your own life, feminine. Like, he follows you. You're the expedition leader. He's like security of this expedition. It's like an expedition to Antarctica or some shit like that. And you're like a fucking scientist. And this is what you was born to do. Given your area expertise, given who you are, you have to take an expedition in Antarctica. But your job is whatever the fuck you going out there to find and shit. You're still going to need a team, a support team. It's good to have your masculine around with a gun just to make sure a polar bear don't come and, and, and nibble on your heels or some shit. To make sure, I don't know, any alien species or some shit we don't know that's in Antarctica pops out. At least you got somebody covering your back. In my case, I can't wait. <laughs> can't wait, Lord. Yeah, when I'm blowing up, you know what I'm saying, doing my LLE Ascension World Tour, who the fuck you think I'm going to bring with me going to foreign countries and shit? I'm divine masculine. That nigga gonna have my back. Why? Because he got my best interest at heart. I ain't really never been out of the country. I mean, I've been in, like, Mexico and Canada. But that shit don't really count. I ain't been international yet. But I will be. You know what I'm saying? And when I go, I'm, I'm, my masculine will be tagging along. Why? Because he can see shit I can't. My masculine already been telling me, yo, watch out for your friends. They ain't your friends. Nigga, why you always say that shit? These my homies. They wasn't my friends. <laughs> I remember first, shit, first two months I met my twin. It's crazy. I met my twin a month before my father, who I get my name from, got out of prison. He was in prison for 33 years. He's obviously not my father and shit, because I mean, if he was, that means I got conceived in prison. It was almost like I did, because this is who I thought my father was. Black problems, shit, I can't explain. it take a whole other episode to do that shit. At any rate, I was 25 years old when my father came out. My 25th birthday, he got out of prison after serving 33 years. My whole life, I've been seeing my dad behind bars, talking to him through a glass. The last six years of his sentence, he was in a supermax. So I couldn't even touch him. You know what I'm saying? And I used to carry pictures of my dad. You know, I had pictures of him in the 70s, the fro and shit in prison. I had pictures of him in the 80s and shit with the box and shit in prison. Pictures for him in the 90s and shit. You know what I mean? With Jerry Curl and shit in prison. Now here it is, fucking, you know what I mean? 212. They finally let him out. 
and I was geeked. I used to talk about my dad. My twin is my dad now, which is crazy. I don't even fuck with that man I'm talking about no more. That's crazy. <laughs> like, I used to brag about him. You know what I'm saying? I used to glorify what he did, who he was and shit. And my twin was like, yo, ain't your dad. He don't fuck with you like that. I'm like, nigga, I just met you. That's kind of bold to say. Like, whatever. You don't know. So, we're doing a, a coming home party with my dad. And, uh, and when I say my dad now, I mean my twin flame. It's crazy now how my twin is becoming my father. But, um, yeah. I only knew my twin maybe two months. I met him in June. My pops got out July 26, 2012, which is my birthday. July 26. But the party had to happen about August. Two months, and my twin brought his karmic and shit with him. And uh, I'm showing my twin out to the family. Like, I just met him, and I'm showing him out to my family. And even my twin, he introduced me to his family just after two months of us knowing each other. We were two peas in the motherfucking pot. This is during recognition, too, when shit was just me and my twin was like this. He was like joined by the fucking hip. And when my twin seen my dad, he talked to him and shit. I went out to go smoke you know, some weed and shit. So, you know what I'm saying? I come back, I see them talking. The whole time I see my mask on the point. My mask is really just sitting there, like really analyzing. My mask went, he was just like, all right, I gotta, I gotta skate. You know what I'm saying? He was just like, look. He pulled me to the side. He was like, yo, you don't really fuck with you like that. It's family on I'm, nigga, what? Like, nigga, they fucks with me. Like, what you talking about, bro? Like, you, you don't know what you talking about. Tch, lo and behold, <laughs> everything my master said came true. A lot of family who I thought was fucking with me wasn't fucking with me at all. A lot of friends who I thought was my homies. It wasn't my friends. And my twin called this shit. That's the reason why I fuck with the nigga and keep the nigga around because he see shit I can't. He pick up on shit. I can't. I'm naive, too, when it comes to, like, people I'm... I show favoritism, too. I'm a Leo. We pedestal people and shit like that. One thing my twin does, man, he 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 warns me early on who to fucking leave alone before they fuck around and bite me in the ass. Snakes that I got around me who I'm looking at as, like, dogs and rabbits and lizards and shit. Nah, these are snakes. A lot of people who ain't got my best interest at heart, I kept around me and my twin identified each and every one of these motherfuckers. That's how I know he, t he on his job to a wine. My twin got my back. You know what I'm saying? To the end of time. Ten of swords. That's death or a permanent ending. Clarifying this to a wine. Your masculine gonna defend you to the day he died. Your masculine gonna have your best interest at heart to the day he passed. And when your masculine dies, he ain't on his job no more. Then he turns into like Ghost Dad or Kadeem Harrelson from The Six Man with uh, Marlon Wayans and shit. He gets to watching over you in the fourth or fifth dimension, sending you divine messages. He's still there because this whole Tony Flames shit don't tend to swords until you both pass. So even when one of you passes, this shit still goes on. My twin is 30 years older than me. He's like my dad. You understand what I'm saying? So like I said, he's a pinnacle just like I'm a pinnacle. One day he's not going to be here. Two. Let me know who ain't got my best interest in heart to do his job. You know what I'm saying? That's why I appreciate every fucking moment I spend with my twin. I appreciate every day he's alive. I appreciate him on a level that most twins ain't appreciating their masculines on. It took us to be a same-sex twin flame situation for me to kind of get this shit and understand this shit and appreciate it for what it is because I'm pretty sure on you know, both me and my twin flame cases, if it was a boy-girl shit, if my Twin Flame was a woman, it'd be totally different. I probably wouldn't have all this awareness. In fact, I'm feminine. I'd probably just be all fucked up off how my twin treating me. You know what I mean? Men will never understand women. That that shit will never happen. So I applaud you male, female, masculines and shit because like it's gonna be a never ending never ending struggle trying to understand your twin. My twin is a guy. Guys understand God. That's why I look at gay homosexual relationships as cheating. Cheating! You dating a female and you a female. Like, come on. Of course she know what you like. Of course y'all, y'all the same shit. So, with me and my twin flame, like I say, that's why this shit is more like a, a demonstration. That's why I call these shits demos. My shit is a demonstration. Me and my twin, what we have, it's a demonstration. 
Play Mary Had a Little Lamb. And the lights light up on the piano. Mary a little lamb. And you play with the fuck the shit play. That's my twin flame situation. It's a demonstration for you to learn off of. Like I said, this shit is a very lonely road. This shit is a very lonely path. A lot of twin flames, uh, a lot of divine feminines are going through the same shit I'm going through. Whether you got the same sex twin or not, your shit is a demonstration. That's going to be used for other people to kind of prosper and get what they want out the deal other than you. We don't choose the players in this game. This Twin Flame game. We don't create the rules in this Twin Flame game. It's like fucking Jumanji. We got to finish this shit out to the end. <sighs> Coming to the situation, feminine. You directly, you got the five of swords. This is focus. So I need a lot of y'all divine feminists to fucking focus. Don't be focusing on me. My hairy chest and shit. You know what I mean? These lips and shit. Luscious. Ha! Hey, it's like the chicks, when I just be seeing titties and hands and shit, they don't show no face and shit. It just be like titties and hands and shit. Like, you know, focus. You know what I'm saying? Hey, maybe it's just titties y'all watching. Maybe it's fingernails and backgrounds and borders y'all watching. I was talking about that with my clients. You should get some more visually stimulating things on your channel. You should wear this. You should do this. It's like, nah, you should just pay attention when I'm speaking. Like, this is a fucking message. Just get the message. Why do I have to cater to you ADD, ADHD ass people? Y'all grown ups. You do that shit for kids. Kids need visuals. Give a kid a fucking book. See how they act. <laughs> Give them a motherfucking coloring book or get them like an easy book with pictures in it. They'll like that. You hand them some shit that look like a Bible. They uninterested. Those are children, though. I can understand that. You motherfuckers are adults. Why do I got to keep y'all fucking attention? Why the fuck y'all can't just focus on the message? Y'all focus all up on me and shit. Did you get the message? You understand what I'm saying? Y'all worry about everything else but the motherfucking message. Look, focus. Focus. A lot of y'all feminists got focus. Why do y'all need to focus? So y'all can get on y'all three of wands and stop bullshitting me. Stop bullshitting these other psychics out here. I'm talking about true psychics, not the fool ones. Y'all got a fucking job to do. Y'all got purpose to be on, man. Y'all got shit y'all need to be doing. Y'all need to focus on that shit. The reason why y'all ain't on path and purpose is because y'all not focused on it. The reason why y'all not in Twin Flame Union Reunion Recognition, I, I guarantee 75% of that shit is you not being on your path. Well, you keep saying path like that shit easy to find. Nigga, it is. You saying find God like God easy to find. Nigga, God in your mind. He indwells your mind. That's what God is. He's a fucking personal relationship. You ain't got to find God. He's in you. You ain't got to fucking find your purpose. It's usually between your passions and your actions. I said that shit two times. For the niggas in the back, how do you find your purpose? It's usually in your passion and your actions. What are actions? Those are wants. What are wants? Things you're doing, things you've done, not shit you finna do because you ain't did it yet. Quit looking at fucking path and purpose like a fucking pinnacle. What's a pinnacle? It's a person, place, or a thing. Some you taste, touch, see, feel, and hear. Pinnacles expire. Your path don't expire. Your path is eternal. Before this Twin Flame shit even came here and I started speaking Twin Flame lingo and shit, like, even if I didn't even know about this Twin Flame shit, one thing I do know is I know I need to ascend. I know this earth can't be it. I know I, I'm not just going to die right in the fucking soil and that's it. This whole mortal campaign is over with. Like, get the fuck out of here. Energy never really dies. Energy can't be destroyed or created. We were here eons before eons before eons. We just happened to come to Earth. The Four of Cups. Temporary space and time where all things expire. It'd be a motherfucking shame if your whole soul ascension process stopped here. Because you wasn't focused. I told you the world, this world, it's called Urantia. That's the true name of this world. This world, this Earth, it's just built to keep you from ascending. It just so happened that the Satan, who's for the devil, called this bitch their arena. It is their arena. This is their heaven. This is their kingdom. This is their world. You can tell. But it's a reason why they're here. And it's a reason why they want you to stay here with them. They're going to non-exist. It'd be as if they wasn't even here. That's their fate. You're going to non-exist. It'd be as if you wasn't even here. That's your fate if you don't ascend from here. We've been 
dying and ascending from way other planets and for, for years. Like, it'd be a fucking shame if that shit stops because you came here. Whatever it's gonna be, it's gonna be free will. It'd be your fucking choice that you didn't see. Be your choice not to get on path. And if you ain't on path and your purpose, then what are you doing? Like, <laughs> focus. It's a sword thing. It's something you register. Focus is something you register. That's why I would never appease to y'all or enable y'all motherfuckers or do shit to try to keep y'all motherfucking attention. I don't work for y'all. I don't get up and do this shit for any one of you. I do this shit because it's my purpose to do so. You understand what I'm saying? Whether you get the message or not. Whether I get one view or a million, it doesn't fucking matter. I'm on pass. I'm on purpose. That's all that matters. I don't have to present shit to you. I really don't have to give a fuck how y'all feel, how y'all think. I can really just go about this shit like I'm talking to the wall right over there. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's a message. That's what I'm here to do. You know what I'm saying? So to the people who are catering to y'all, they ain't focused either. Yo, Karma, coming into the situation, we got the King of Cups. You see the tone that I got with y'all? It's just tough love. King of Cups. Tough love card on my deck. What's tough love, you say? It's the 1950s, 1960s dad. Dan Laria from the Wonder Years. I don't know. This new Wonder Years, like, I'm black. You would think that since the Wonder Years is really one of my favorite TV shows of all time, that I would be kind of happy about it, like... My thing with it, why the fuck the Black Wonder Years couldn't be in the hood? Why it couldn't be in Chicago? L.A. New York. You understand what I'm saying? New Orleans. You understand what I'm saying? The country? Well, the country is kind of a way of a suburb. That's stupid. And then look at the dad in the Black Wonder Years. This nigga keep a drink on him, man. It's like, what y'all trying to say here? Alcoholic? It was three kids in the motherfucking original one of years. It's only two. Like, what y'all really trying to say? Like, I hate all the shit that's going on with this new one of years shit, bro. Like, it's I can't relate to it. How the fuck can I relate to Kevin Arnold, a white boy in the goddamn suburbs, watching the original one of years, but can't relate to this one and they black? Like, that's my pickle with, with this reboot and shit. I'm not shitting on it. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, I, I'm trying to get it. I don't. Like, I can see if this was like the Wonder Years in, in, in Chicago. Chicago in the fucking, during that time. You know what I'm saying? Because that would be like my mother's life. Or my Twin Flames life. He grew up in Chicago. My mom grew up in Chicago. Or urban city. Now my Twin Flames roots is like in Mississippi. My roots come from Alabama. But like I said, it's, it would just be more relatable. Black people live in, 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 in urban city. You do got black people in the South. But I mean... It's a whole different swag. Saying all this shit to say this. It's just like Dan Laurier from The Wonder Years. Archie Bunker from All in the Family. Here we go, black characters. James from Good Times. Uncle Phil from Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. <laughs> Bill Cosby from The Cosby Show. Yeah, I know y'all ain't feeling that shit. Hey, I'm glad he's free, though. Hey, free kills! Fuck y'all talking about? Hey, look. This is a hard ass. The reason why it's a 1950s, 1960s dad that defines the tough love card in my deck, because think of one. 1950s, 1960s dad, man, they providers. They go to work. They catch hell from their fucking boss. They probably was in the goddamn military. Probably fought in one of these world wars. Probably fought in one of these in the Korean wars. Some shit. You know what I mean? They done did their duty serving the fucking country, now they spending their duties serving their family. A 1950s dad, 1950s, 1960s dad really don't have a life. Their whole life is just provided for their family. It's not a curse. It's a blessing. But, imagine how hard it is for a 1950s, 1960s dad to find time for himself. He just got home from work. Your hippie daughter want to hit you with emotions and Shit that you really don't give a fuck about. You don't understand her cause. You don't understand this whole rebel struggle shit she on. Like, it's foreign to you, your wife. You know what I mean? You just got done working and providing for the fucking family. Now here come your wife coming with her problems. This is the 1950s, 1960s. Usually the wives were like at home. So what she probably talking about is her fucking friend that stayed down the street that she kick it with when you at work and the kids at school. 
whatever it is, it's, it's not meaningless, but it's like, I got more shit to worry about. Like, can I please just unwind? Like, I just want to have this little drink and chill the fuck out. Can I do that? Like, I love y'all. Like, I love every single one of y'all. Don't look at it like I'm cold-blooded or I'm heartless because I don't want to hear y'all talking right now. Or I come home from work and just wind down and not tuning y'all the fuck out. I know y'all here because y'all the ones I'm providing for. Papa just needs to fucking chill. You can look at your dad as being heartless or unemotional or tough for not, I don't know, stroking your ego or enabling you like most these psychics do with y'all and shit. Like, you can look at me as like King of Cuppy. I'm like a 1950s, 1960s dad. I'm focused on what matters. Like, are you sick? You know what I mean? Did something happen at school? Did somebody hurt you? Somebody touch you? You know what I mean? Oh, none of that? Oh, there is no issue. Oh, okay. Well, shit. I'll holler at you next time. Right now, it's more important matters I need to attend to, like, my own peace of mind right now. Like, that's what tough love really is. You know what I mean? Where I say I really don't give a fuck about like views and subs and shit like that. Like I just I wish like I need it for business purposes. So I can really make money and turn this shit into an enterprise and a business. Cause I mean I'm already turning this shit into an enterprise and a business. It'd just be more pinnacles, more dollars, more influence, more people getting the motherfucking message if I had these things. But I do this shit for God. It's purpose over person. So like I said, I'm not here to impress y'all. My business ain't to influx videos and fuck with the algorithms and do catchy ass titles or set shit up for y'all. Like, fuck y'all. Don't, don't get it twisted. Fuck y'all. Not fuck y'all like fuck you. I don't give a fuck about y'all and all. Fuck it. Like, I'm not gonna hop in y'all box. I don't have to. I have a job to do. I do that. If you can't respect that, if you can't focus enough to get that shit, hey, it, it, ain't, my, it ain't my fault. Okay? A lot of people look at their 1950s, 1960s dad as just a person who don't care. Or a person who ain't emotionally available. Like, that's bullshit. They wouldn't carry their ass to work and deal with the fucking world the way they gotta deal with it for you. you Pay the bills around this motherfucker. I'm, I'm the reason why y'all motherfuckers going to college and shit. Like, that shit ain't free. Where the fuck you think this money comes from? You know what I mean? Look at 1950s, 1960s dad. Why do you think they drink so much? Why do you think they stress so motherfucking much? It's hard as shit being a provider. I'm not just providing a motherfucking service. I'm providing my purpose to y'all for y'all to even get aware on the shit that I'm, I'm coming up on with. You know what I mean? Moving on to the feminine role. Feminine, you in regards to yourself, personally, you got the queen of pentacles. This is the Khalees bossy card in my deck. The song Bossy by Khalees. It's the whole swag of that. Look at that video. After this reading... Khalees Bossy. That whole swag she on, that's the fucking shit you need to be on, feminine. Aside from that, flip side to that, this could be a karmic feminine. Not calling Khalees a karmic feminine, fuck no. Her milkshake does bring all the girls to the yard. <laughs> but uh, a karmic feminine is just a feminine, or a woman, or a guy, a bitch-ass nigga, that's just focused on pinnacles. What you have is all they're interested in. What they can come up off of all they're interested in. If you didn't have fucking pinnacles to come up off of, they probably wouldn't even be in your fucking face. Like, if you didn't have shit, you'd be uninterested. <laughs> Say that shit all the time. Like, I'm not a wealthy man. You feel me? Like, I'm rich in love. I'm rich in divinity. I got powers and shit. Gifts. God and shit. But like, pinnacle-wise, money-wise, finance-wise, like, I ain't there yet. I'm trying to get there. Struggling my whole life, nigga. You know what I'm talking about? I'm going to get there. <laughs> but I don't really need money to, like, get bitches. Excuse my French. I don't really need things to get things. I know some men, if they didn't have the money that they have, they wouldn't have a wife. They wouldn't even, thus, they wouldn't have children. Pentacles, man. They play an important role in karmics. That's how they fucking function. Nigga like me, to where my actions and behavior is what gets me in life. You know what I mean? Me just being a good person. Like, you know what I mean? I ain't rich, baby. But hey, I don't mean we can't have fun. I don't mean we can't turn up. That don't mean I can't show you shit or give you an experience. It's a lot of shit that I could drop. 
might not be a whole bunch of money at the strip club for your motherfucking karmic ass, you know what I'm saying? But I can get your ass some wisdom, some awareness. I can put you on some shit, teach you some shit. You know what I mean? Like, I'm telling you, it's, it's, it's some men and women out here that wouldn't have nothing going on if they didn't have the pinnacles that they possess. And most of these pinnacles ain't even theirs. So divine feminine, don't be on that karmic feminine shit. How the fuck you a divine feminine, but you coming up off karmics and calling yourself divine? Like, if 65% of the pinnacles you got, if it's more than half of the pinnacles that you possess came from karmic masculines or other people's pinnacles, OPP, if if, if, if majority of what you got is OPP, you a fucking karma. You didn't get these shits on your own. You didn't get it the right way. You obviously got this shit the wrong way. You get to no, <laughs> no cops. See motherfuckers on Facebook all day, man. They flashing money going down their whole arm. First of all, if I had that much money, motherfucker, you wouldn't even know about it. I put that shit in the bank where it belongs. It's <laughs> a lot of bait, a lot of traps out here. But what motherfuckers will be thinking of, those are traps. Motherfucker flossing money just like that. Obviously, you trying to get your fucking attention. And obviously, with your dumb ass not being focused, you're going to fuck with him thinking that, hey, I can at least get something off the deal. I know he ain't shit, but that money to shit, though. It's the lifestyle. That's a pinnacle. Lifestyle is a fucking pinnacle. <laughs> what you doing in your life? Or why? Why feminists, yo? Quit acting fucking karmic. How the hell y'all going to sit up on some ivory tower Shitting on karmic feminists when y'all doing the same shit. It just don't make sense. Does it? This shit deals with you. This is, and it's me too. I'm a divine feminine. You know what I'm saying? I can't call myself a divine feminine doing karmic feminine shit out here, but I'm not a karmic feminine. Like, I know mass, uh, divine feminine, I ain't gonna call them divine. I just know feminine males. Like myself. Who are really karmic feminines. And a karmic feminine guy? That's just pathetic. That's like bad. This is more like, this is a nigga that's more of a bitch than a bitch. She's the provider. You understand what I'm saying? She making all the money. She got the shit going on. You just a nigga occupying her space. That's a bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, karmic feminine women are bitches, but a karmic feminine male, he more of a bitch than a bitch. Them bitch ass niggas, y'all need to motherfucking watch out for. It. A lot of you feminines, got a lot of masculine in y'all. Y'all alpha women. You understand what I'm saying? And alpha women attract bitch ass niggas, man. Alpha women also attract divine feminine masculines like myself, like divine feminine males and shit. I love alpha women. I don't finesse them. I don't come up off their ass. I treat them like ladies and shit, but it is some like insecure shit going on because when she got her shit together and I'm still trying to get my shit together, me being a guy because I'm a man at the end of the day, my insecurities do come out. Sometimes I feel like a bitch ass nigga. <laughs> Sometimes like, I feel like I need to step my motherfucking game up. Sometimes I feel like the bitch. You know what I mean, hey, blind feminist, don't be acting like these chicks that y'all be looking down on. And how could you look down on a karmic feminine when you're doing the same shit? Or this is just like a bitch-ass nigga that you got around you. You need to clip this dude. Because like I say, he more of a bitch than a bitch. Men gotta act like men. Anytime men acting like females with you and shit, it's gonna get ugly. You know what I mean? You don't need none of that in your life. Moving on. The karma to that? <clears throat> we got the king of pentacles. If a queen of pentacles is a karmic feminine, then the king of pentacles is a karmic masculine. And guess what? If you fucking with a karmic masculine, that kind of makes you a karmic feminine. Now, let me break this down again, too. Queen of pentacles is a boss. Thus, a king of pentacles is a CEO. A boss ain't a CEO. This is the owner of the company. This is the person who runs the company. Just because you run the company don't mean you own the company. So if you walk around here like, you own shit when you just the boss of shit. Like, it's like, for example, like, I've been renting out houses the past three years. Every house that I rented out, like, 
It ain't mine. I know this. I'm not walking around like this is my fucking crib. You know what I mean, this is a temporary space and place right now. You know what I mean, but if you at a temporary spot and you walk around like you own this motherfucker, like that's karmic. You understand what I'm saying? Like, that's just like, like I said, you the owner. So you ain't even got to be at the company you want. You leave somebody in charge of the company. This person that's the boss can't fucking say that they're the owner because if you're the owner, the accountability falls on you. So if they lie and saying that they the owner and you get in some fucking trouble but don't want to own up to it or you bragging like how you the owner and shit but then you get in some real trouble and you step the fuck back and let that shit fall on the owner, like that's karmic as fuck too. Karma, feminine. What you're really learning is exactly what a karmic masculine is. Once again, you got good karmic masculines out here, but they're karmic. Anytime you're dealing with a karmic masculine, a good one, you gotta acknowledge what it is. Like he's a karmic. He's not divine. He's not gonna elevate. He's not gonna get on no three of wands shit. He's here for the specific purpose of pinnacles. Keep it fucking real. <laughs> <clears throat> Few clients. I'm saying they're married to billionaires. Not gonna leave their billionaire motherfucking husband for their twin flame. It's just not gonna happen. And by me being emotionally and mentally and spiritually mature, I can understand that. Had a case like that. Had a client married to a billionaire. She was a divine masculine. Her divine feminine was a god. That's why when I find divine feminine males clients, man, I just cling on to them, like, yo, like, ah, it's so good to find a person like myself around this motherfucker, like, he used to cry, she ain't never gonna leave him, he a billionaire, I mean, can you blame her, like, I understand y'all got love, and they, they was fucking around, like, they, she didn't even fuck her husband, he's a billionaire, she just took his pinnacle, like, she, at least she, being a masculine, mature about the shit. At least she kept a spade a spade there. He couldn't understand. It's like, bro, I understand. Like, that's that's money. Y'all fuck around, right? Yeah, but she don't stay with me. Don't you got a little demo? Yeah, but I don't love her. That's the same shit your twin flame is. So, what? It's cool for you to do what you're doing, but it's not cool for her to do it? Like, come on, bro. Let's keep it real here. She just keeping it real. Why don't you keep it real with your shit? King of Pentacles. That's ownership. Owning up to your current situation. Got a lot of clients. Y'all trying to get back with y'all twins and all that. Hey, it goes back to the bottom line energy. Two of Wands. What's that? Support. <laughs> to the swords, you're going to have to put a permanent end to the support system. You want to be with your twin flame? Be with them. But you can't be with this king of pentacles, this karmic masculine, and call yourself trying to be with your masculine. Two things can't occupy the same space. That ain't how it go. Maybe you too dependent on what the fuck your karmic masculine bring it to the table. Once again, take ownership in that shit. King of pentacles. Own up to that. Let's keep it fucking real. You know what? We're probably not going to be able to live together and live this dream life that you think we're going to live, but you know what? Given my masculine status, though, we can still travel the world. We can still knock boots. We can still have a demo. It's just not like that. I can own up to that shit. You in the same, like, you doing the same shit I'm doing. Why can't you own up to it? Probably because he's feminine and he's more emotional and in his head than you are. <laughs> but, hey, saying all shit to say this, feminines, y'all better start owning up to y'all karmic situation. Own up to it. With this guy for his pinnacle. Nothing else. You know he's not going to evolve. You know he's not going to 201, your 301, support you in the manner you need to be supported. All he knows how to do is just financially support your life. What you're looking for is something more than that. A person that shares your passions, that shares your dreams, that's on what you want. Karmics ain't on what you want. Karmics do what they've been doing. Just call a spade a motherfucking spade here. Keep it real. Ownership. Own up to some of y'all feminists need to own up to y'all relationships. Because if y'all didn't have these karmics, y'all wouldn't have y'all pentacles. 
y'all didn't have y'all karmic masculine supporting y'all in, in the way that they're all supporting them. I mean, the way that he's supporting y'all, y'all probably wouldn't even have y'all channels, y'all cribs, y'all cars, the shit y'all got. Don't shit on your karmic masculine because he's not divine. And keep him at bay and keep him at limbo while you chase to try to get your twin flame. Like, hey, that's why some of these karmics are good. Some of these karmics do deserve you because they fully invested in you. He ain't just giving you pinnacles for no reason. He's a good karmic. He really, like he, some of these karmics know that they're not as advanced mentally and spiritually as you are, but that don't mean shit. They just want to see you happy. They're doing everything pinnacle in their fucking power to put you in a position. You don't like the queen of pinnacle position you in fucking with this king of pinnacle, but I mean, let's call a spade a spade here. Sooner you do that shit, sooner you can get back to life and back to reality. Back to rule number one in the Twin Flame demo. This shit is optional. You don't have to fuck with it. Just because you, you, you feel you aware and shit. Not saying it's cool to be a karmic feminine. I'm just saying. You can be a divine feminine in love or married to or rocking with a good, good keyword, karmic. And usually a good karmic is most likely a soul. It's just the fact that Queen of Wands, Divine Feminine show up as Queen of Wands, and Divine Masculine show up as, like, King of Wands, and, like, Karmic show up as Pinnacles. Like, a, you know, a soulmate will probably show up as, like, a Karmic, a good one, if you, if you get my drift. Let's wrap this up. Feminine, you in regards to the Masculine, your direct energy, we got the Seven of Wands. This is inner confliction. Of course y'all are inner conflicted about y'all Karmic situation. It's beneficial. A good guy. She's a good girl. He could be a she, she could be a he, you know how we rock it. But guess what? Deal with this shit. Internal conflict. The only way to deal with internal conflict is to heal internal conflict. It makes no sense for you not sleeping at night, feeling guilty, feeling any kind of way. That you truly love your karmic mask. You love the situation that you have with him, but you just feel, and I, I see a lot of y'all turn on this shit, you just feel that you gotta go to Twin Flame route. Like I say, this Twin Flame situation is built for you to be the best person that you can be with or without your Twin. A lot of these psychics ain't gonna say that shit, it ain't markable. But this is facts here. Alright? Best example I can use is Janet Jackson. So she married homie, I knew that, like, that wasn't the one. Like, that wasn't her twin. That wasn't her, like, the one. But I see why she she dealt with him. I mean, you fuck with a nigga. <laughs> a baby by that nigga. Stay married for whatever years he said before you can divorce him and get, like, a lot of money. I think she came up with, like, 500 million from that karmic situation. Nigga, that was an investment. Like, I can't knock that. Shit. That was a... She didn't finesse him. But she put time, energy, and resources into that fucking demo. And that shit paid off. The term paid off. What the fuck does that mean to you? Not paid off on some shiesty shit, but you put work in and that shit paying the fuck off. That's smart. She's up 500 M's now. And she ain't with him, so she could be with the love of her life and keep the motherfucking... Red she didn't came up off of. These karmic masculines are investments. Treat them as such. Keep it fucking real. Don't be lying to their ass. Knowing you don't give a fuck about them. Only fucking with them because of their pinnacles. Got blowing their head up. Got them feeling like, you know what I'm saying? They they giving you life and love and, and the pursuit of happiness and shit. And it ain't even that type of deal. Like, you, you're going to hurt somebody. You're either going to hurt your karmic. Leaving them alone for your twin. You're either going to hurt your twin. Leaving them alone for your karmic, or you gonna hurt your fucking self being in limbo about where the fuck you wanna be with either one of them. Guess what? You ain't even gotta hurt yourself. You ain't gotta hurt yourself. You could, you could be happy with either one of them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You can be with this karmic uh, masculine and shit and still deal with your motherfucking um, divine masculine and, and feel or 
register in your head is not being guilt free about that shit. That's kind of karmic if you ask me. But I mean, what the fuck do I know? I'm a man at the end of the day. Women. I was born from a sing- like a single mother raised me. I don't know what the fuck she did. To take care of three motherfucking kids by herself. You understand what I'm saying? And it's like I'm. Uh, she's black. I'm black. Like you don't question our moms anyway. You don't question a black mom. What the fuck she doing? How she get her money? How she take care of us? Like that. That shit's taboo. I asked my mom, Mom, how do you even get all this stuff to take care of us? You don't really work that much. Nigga, she just slapped me in my motherfucking mouth. Boy, who the fuck are you talking to? You better stay in a child's place. Don't ask no grown woman no question like that. Like That's black home. You don't have, we never ask questions. You can't ask questions. It's like the black church. <laughs> you don't ask questions. It's like, you really can't ask questions. You know what I'm saying? Like, certain shit just is. Like, I, I will never, ever question a woman's actions and behavior when it comes to her taking care of herself. That's the thing women got over men. We men. We'll be bitch ass niggas like pedal stooling off a of female and shit. Not not like saying it's cool for a woman to fucking do it, but like I said, as a man we're the protector of the woman. Thus we are the supporter of the women. I'm gonna buy feminine. Y'all are always gonna get a pack. I'm always take the side of the fucking female until I see otherwise. Then I'm gonna, you know, treat your ass accordingly. But you know, it just comes from being raised by a single mother and watching her struggle and watching her get, you know, I watch her get abused. I watch her, I watch my mom put up a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? It's wonderful to see where the fuck she at right now because my mom is like Tina Turner, not like the abusive relationship with Tina Turner. Like Tina Turner, as far as like being like an alpha woman that. Just beat a lot of fucking odds. You know what I'm saying? My like, mom was the first person to own a business. Like, the first job I ever had, I was three, four years old, sweeping hair at my mother's hair salon. She's the first woman I ever seen, black woman I ever seen with her own fucking business. My mom was the first black woman in her fucking family to own her own house. To own property. Like, it's a first for my mom. First to, and her whole generation to get a fucking master's degree, yet alone a degree, like, my mother's my biggest inspiration, you know what I'm saying, I, I watched her go from, like I said, struggling to raise three motherfucking kids to raising three good kids, we all good, you know what I mean, like, I'm a caregiver to CNN and shit, like, what I get a lot now is just crazy, like, clients, not psychic clients, like, my nine to five clients, people I'll be taking care of and shit. Like, yo, tell your mother that I said she did a good job raising you. I hear that almost every day. Your mother is a good child. Like, you're a good guy. So I'm like, I know. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's just like, hey, eternal conflict. Ain't no telling what my mother was in, interconflicted with doing what she had to do out here. I don't question it, but now me being an adult and a man, I'm not going to condone it. Fuck shit that y'all do to, to get ahead. Nah. Equality, nigga. Yeah, y'all accountable just like us on certain shit, but not all shit. Y'all women. That's how I'm looking at it. I might be a sucker or a uh, punk like my twin. Me even saying that shit, if my twin flame watch it, he's shaking his head. Yeah, nigga, that's why you ain't never been married, nigga. That's, you know what I'm saying? Until you get a wife, nigga, you, you, you'll you switch that shit. He always say that shit. Like, wait till you get married. <laughs> Yo, know, if you got kids, nigga, with a chick, like, all that shit you talk about, the female and shit, nigga, all that shit gonna change. It's like, well, nigga, use a masculine. I'm a man, too, but I'm a feminine. I just, nigga, my heart and mind is just always gonna be different from yours. We polar opposites. So, you know, this shit up. The karma to the masculine energy feminine, we got the two of cups. This is a relationship, friendship, partnership. Or are you fucking with yourself the long way? Or all. Or both. Ace of Cups, that's self-care, self-love, self-respect, self-admiration, self-identification, self-realization. You gotta take care of yourself. You gotta learn to love yourself. You gotta respect yourself. You gotta know who the fuck you are before you deal with any other person. How the fuck you gonna try to figure somebody else out if you ain't figured yourself out? How the fuck you expect anybody to love you if you don't love yourself? Go all day. 
This is a ship. Two of Cups is a ship. It ain't just you in this relationship. You're in a relationship with somebody else. So it ain't just what the fuck you want to do or doing what the fuck you want to do. You got to keep in mind there's other people around. Like this fuck ass room in there, guy. Like, there's only two of us in this motherfucker. This nigga be jamming out like, like he don't, like, like it sound like it's a whole group of motherfuckers outside. It's just him. Nigga be loud as hell, too. And it's just like, yo, I recognize it's another person I'm here with. And it's like, I got to be mindful of what the fuck I do. It's a lot of shit I be wanting to do, but I can't do because I'm keeping in mind of other people's feelings and emotions and shit. But then I become the asshole shitting on homie because it's like you a fucking adult that's like way older than me. And it's like, you don't get these things. Like, I understand that any type of partnership, it ain't just what the fuck I want. It'd be bogus as hell if I'm in a relationship or a friendship or a partnership, and I'm always doing the shit that I want to do. I got you doing what the fuck I want to do every motherfucking time. And I feel like shit if you're doing what the fuck you want to do with no disregards of what the fuck I feel. You know what I'm saying? Or what the fuck I want out of, out of deals. You got to work. When you're in a partnership, when you're in a friendship, when you're in, like, you know what I mean? You're going to have to be mindful of the other fucking cup. That's step two in the cup's process. But just like homie, a lot of people don't get that shit. Kids understand this shit. Fucking... Nigga, nigga, senior citizens understand this shit. How the fuck adults don't? That's the reason why this shit is in your karma. Because maybe some shit you doing that relates to what the fuck I'm saying. Wrapping this up. Future final world. We got the seven of pentacles. This is you directly going to the future. Feminine. Y'all going to have to reread. This includes me too. I'm a divine feminine. Reread. R-E-R-E. -E. Rearrange some shit. Recognize some shit. Reunite some shit. Like, you're going to have to reconnect some dots. You might have to reverse a move. You might have to renege on some shit. Like, whatever the fuck you doing, you rearranging pinnacles to people, places, and things in your motherfucking life. Why? So you ain't doing the same shit over and over and over again. That's insanity, isn't it? It's like cycles. You break up with a person and you go back to them. You break up with a person and you go back to them. You break up with a motherfucker, you go back to him. That's insanity. Why did you break up with them in the fucking first place? Why are you keep going back? Why is you double dutching? Just move fucking forward or stay. You understand what I'm saying? It's like you gotta rearrange the people, places, and things in your life so you ain't bringing the same shit in your life. If you just hit rock bottom, you don't want the same friends that was with you to help you get to rock bottom. You don't want to be in a relationship with somebody and you end up in rock bottom and then go back to the person or the relationship that puts you in rock bottom in the first place. You will be insane. That is insanity. Final card is message. We got the Eight of Cups. Karma. Going to the future, feminine. This is the Patty LaBelle card. It's the most divine card outside the Two of Wands, Three of Wands, and Four of Wands that's in the Ace to Ten cycles of my deck. Aces to Tens are karmic cycles. Knights, queens, kings, and things are the divine realms. Two-part card, the Patty Bell card is. First part of the Patty Bell, Bell card is keeping your integrity up and keeping your divinity up. Look at Patty Bell. She's been around since the 70s, dog. Her divinity ain't never been in question. Her integrity ain't never been in question. She always handles herself like a queen. She wasn't doing the shit Shaka Khan was doing back in the day. You know what I'm saying? No disrespect. <laughs> she wasn't on that Phyllis Hyman shit. She wasn't on that motherfucking Kelly Price shit. Rihanna shit. With Houston shit. She moved different. She, she remains a queen at all times. And she keep God in everything she do, don't she? That's a big part of why she's the queen. Flip side. Patty Pies, my nigga. Every Thanksgiving, damn, it's coming up on her season too, huh? <laughs> Beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes, like, hey, every fucking Thanksgiving, Christmas season, man, I'm pretty sure her fucking bank account shoots up like a rocket. And then, like, during the summertime and other fucking seasons, it just be, like, consistent. But with patty pies, I'm telling you, Thanksgiving, Christmas, man, I bet her stocks be all the way up. Look how old, excuse me, look how seasoned Patty LaBelle is. She's still out here getting money. She's still out here enjoying good, nice, 
raw young relationships and shit. They still looking good out here. Hey, it's crazy how Patty the Bell looked better than chicks half her age. She takes good care of herself and keeps God first. That's really the most important thing that she be doing out here. But she on YouTube. She doing verse battles. She doing commercials. You know I mean, her pies is selling out in the stores, even at her age. She ain't got to sign no fucking label or die being an artist to some label like most of these motherfucking divas is. She's the queen diva. Take notes from Patti LaBelle. That's the message that I got. Hope I can be a good use of your boy D. Boom. I will holler at y'all and I'll holler at y'all. Um, We're going to do Twin Flames and Union Reunion and Recognition tomorrow. And I'm going to have to do Astrology next week. Sorry. I'll see y'all in a minute, though. Holla.